Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I figured would be really helpful for some people because it's really helped me sort of get on top of my food shopping, have less food wastes, which not only saves you money, but it's sort of, well, it's good for the planet. So kind of killing two birds with one stone. There's a two part system to it. So I'm going to sort of talk you through what I do and hopefully I'll give you some ideas of how you can reduce waste. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos about finance, getting out of debt, becoming financially independent, and also just generally bossing life. If that's something you're interested in, do check out my other videos and subscribe if you like what you see. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, but with no further ado, let's get straight into the video. So one of the first things I do is basically go through my whole kitchen and go through anything in my cupboards, fridge, freezer, anything like that, and make a note of it in my spreadsheets. I know, I know, I like spreadsheets too much, but it really, really helps. You can do this on paper, but you'll see when I show you the spreadsheet why I prefer doing this on a spreadsheet. So the first time I did this was the hardest, of course, because I had to take everything out and count every can, everything I had, and it took a while, I'm not gonna lie, but it was totally worth it. I don't have to do that again. Um, I still, because I have the inventory, what I try to do is keep the stuff that's already been counted in like a separate area. And then when I bring in new stuff, I add it to the spreadsheet. And when I use stuff, I do my best to sort of go through and take it off the inventory. So it's not that much work. Um, the majority of the work is in the fridge. Just because with the fridge stuff, you tend to go through it quickly. And sometimes I might not have time to update the spreadsheet. So. Most of the time it's just taking stock of the fridge, um, but like I said, it's the first sort of hurdle that you have to get through and go through your whole kitchen and like write everything down. Just open your eyes and take my advice, stop rolling the dice and just compromise, it's the chance of your life. So I've just done it, so I'm going to talk you through my spreadsheet and just show you how it works to give you some ideas of how you can do this and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so this is what the spreadsheet looks like. It's really, really simple but really effective. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time going through it, but essentially here you've got, um, I split everything by like fridge, freezer and then cupboard. I've had to make two cupboard ones because I had so much stuff in the cupboard as you can see. Um, and essentially all I do is I write down what the food is, how much of it I have, um, which I guess it doesn't make much sense when I look at this, but for example here, um, you know, apple oat sachets, I've got 10 of them, um, I've got nine coconut milk, um, four cans of lentils, two and a half, that's because I've got one little one. Um, so it makes sense when it comes to like cans of stuff. Um, and then I put in the date. And the thing that I really like about what I've done with this spreadsheet basically is you can see the dates here are highlighted, right? So what I've done is I've put in a conditional format which highlights something as this color, which is I guess sort of an orangey type color when it's nearing its end date. So at the moment we are on the 3rd of May, um, which is why these are, um, that color and then if something is out of date, so say this was the 2nd of May 2020, it goes red, which means it's out of date. So it's just really cool because it shows me what I need to finish within the next few days. So you can see here, I've got one, if the date is before zero days ago, it's red, which means if it was out of date. And then here is if the date is in the next five days, fill it orange, which means you have five days to eat this, or well, five or less days. Um, so it just highlights to me what's going out of date um, quickly and means I waste less food. So this is like one of the main reasons I created this spreadsheet essentially. Um, but yeah, that's all it is. Um, it's super simple to make, especially if you understand conditional formatting. Um, if you need any help, just let me know um, and I'll be happy to help. So the next thing I do is sit down go through everything I have and try to figure out meals that I can make for the next week or two and see kind of if there's anything missing or, you know, is there anything that I really want to make that isn't on this list that's fine too. 
but it's just trying to make the most out of what I have already and making sure I'm not buying the same stuff over and over again. I can't tell you the amount of times where I'd be like, ooh, I could do with like some pasta or a can of like chickpeas. And then I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Turns out I have 10 million cans of chickpeas. So it's really about trying to avoid rebuying stuff that you've already purchased. And this is especially important for things that will go out of date. So less so for like cupboard stuff, although it still matters because I'm pretty sure you've found stuff in your cupboard that's gone out of date. Even the stuff that takes a long time, like eventually it will go out of date. And if it's at the back of your cupboard, you might forget. So I've actually been pretty good. I've used up the majority of the stuff in my fridge. Um, I barely have anything in my fridge at the moment. Um, but I have plenty in my freezer and plenty in my cupboard. So what I'm going to try and do is figure out from the stuff I've got here, what sort of meals I can make for the next week. So this I do do I do do on old fashioned pen and paper. I just prefer it like this. And yeah, so let's do that. So basically with this, as I'm going along and putting together my meal planning, what I'm doing is if I say I want to make like a chickpea curry, for example, if I realise that I'm missing some of the ingredients already, I put them at the bottom as a shopping list. So that just means that when I do sort of either do my online order or go into the shop, I'm sticking to this list. Don't get me wrong. I still get tempted by stuff and buy things I didn't plan on buying but I try to limit that and also just having a plan of everything you're going to eat already just saves you going like oh we're kind of like maybe I fancy this pizza and maybe I fancy this for dinner and maybe I fancy that for dinner and I've had that before where I've basically like got all this stuff which I really felt like eating without really thinking about the best before dates and when I'm going to eat it and I'll sort of like have this like pizza first and then I'll have like these uh, veggie burgers and something something and then it comes to like the end of the week and I'm like oh crap I've still got like this and that left but actually it's gone out of date already um, and that's wasted food and wasted money. Don't forget if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up it really supports my channel so I think that's basically it if you have any questions about it give me a shout ask me a question in the comments I'm happy to answer um, but I really hope this gives you a bit of an idea of how you can plan your meals and just take stock of what you have already just to stop that waste. That's pretty much all I wanted to say so thank you very much if you've made it this far. Um, see you next time. Bye!